Good evening and welcome to another edition of Rhythms of the Culture. This is a special Christmas program. Of course, we're into the Christmas season here in Dominica and in the world and uh, celebrating this wonderful time of year. We have a special person with us this morning. He's Alexon Laronde from the community of Atkinson. He's a building contractor. He's an artist and also of a very mm. gifted musician who plays the accordion. Mm. He's also the leader of the traditional Jinping band of Atkinson, Ban Akayo. Mm. And they're well known as well for their Sewina music, which is Dominica's traditional Christmas music. So they have kept that tradition alive for many years in the community of Atkinson and by extension, Dominica. So we're very, very honored and privileged to have Mr. Laron here with us on this program. So we'll be back in a moment to begin our conversation with Alex and Laron of mm -hmm. Atkinson. <coughs> the first edition of Rhythms of the Culture. In this very new television program, we'll be highlighting various expressions and aspects of Dominica's culture. Good evening. We'll see how the temperature does. Um, Tassi, let's start off with you giving us a bit of your background for persons who don't really know you like that well. Uh, where you were born, where you grew up, where you went to school. So, Ophelia, you've performed in just so many places all over. Um, what are some of the performances that stand out in your mind as probably the more memorable? Now, Alwyn and you traveled with the People's Action Theatre um, through the Caribbean. You mentioned a couple of islands and Caribbean countries that you traveled to. Welcome back to Rhythms of the Culture. As I said earlier, our guest is Alex and Laron. He's also known more popularly as Aka, and hence the name Ban Akayo, as he's the leader of the Jinping band from Atkinson. Welcome to Rhythms of the Culture, Alex and Laron. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, of course, you're multi skilled, multi talented. <laughs> but take us back a bit in your professional career. I know that you're a building contractor as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the major structures that you have been involved in? Uh, well, the biggest one would be the Salibia Primary School. Yeah, mm -hmm. 3.7 million. Mm -hmm. That would be my biggest project. Okay. Uh, that was completed in 2010. Yeah. And of course, um, you've done other major houses. Well, a few structures. dwelling houses and health centers. Um, Atkinson Health Center I did some major um, restoring works there, repairs. Um, Mao River Health Center uh, and some houses and, and roads, a lot of roads. As well. The, um, most of the uh, the housing, or they have the small locust housing for the territory. Mm -hmm. I built about 16 of those. So mm -hmm. yeah, I was involved in all the, um, all the buildings. Yeah. Now before that, even before you got seriously involved <laughs> in the construction of buildings mm -hmm. and structures, you were also doing some dental work as well. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, well, my brother who is a dental mechanic by profession, uh, he came down in um, 79, 78. Mm. So I, I started there with him, you know, and uh, he showed me a few things. And I got good at it, so much so that um, he took me to um, a crash course in um, Connecticut, USA, where I sort of perfected the skill and um, 
I stayed with him for a few years. Uh, I can't remember offhand, maybe a little over five years, though, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, all uh, during the Hurricane David era, <laughs> we were operating, operating a lab yeah. in Marigot. Mm -hmm. After the devastation of Roseau, <laughs> we had to move to Marigot, uh, wow. establish a lab there. And, uh, that's where I started doing uh, some dental work with him, you know, mm -hmm. the making of dentures mm -hmm. and crowns, inlays for repairs of bad teeth and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, in the area of culture, you've made a major contribution as well. And before we come to your main area of cultural involvement now, which is Jinping music and Serena music, you are also an artist. You've done a number of paintings. I, I, in fact, I have seen mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of your wonderful paintings. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of got you interested in that uh, aspect? From school, you know, primary school, secondary school, I always loved the arts. I um, enjoyed painting. I got a few um, uh, prizes for in competitions, painting. First prizes, a lot of first prizes. Wow. Um, yeah, it was just, uh, just had a passion for painting. Right, yes. And when I had nothing to do, um, my spare time, my free time, I would think of nothing else but painting. Just let something come to mind and paint. And I, I did a lot of painting, you know, just visualizing stuff. And from your own from my, creativity. Yeah, yes, from my own uh -huh. creativity. Mm -hmm. what, what sort of medium you like working in? Watercolor, acrylic, oils? Which is your favorite? Acrylic medium? and oils. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Watercolor was, yeah, I could do some, but um, acrylic and oils. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, you don't paint as much as before? No. <laughs> my last painting was probably 19. Mid 90s, mid 19, so we were around 95, 96. That was okay. our last, um, yeah, a, a, a landscape thing I was doing. For mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. And now we come to your work as the leader of the Bana Kayo, as you know, leading musician in terms of accordion playing in Atkinson in Dominica, um, I should say. Now, what sort of sparked your interest in, in, in accordion playing in particular? Well, I always l um, love music, you know, and um, that kind of music, uh, which is uh, Sewinal music, that's something that's close to our heart in Atkinson, you know. Um, so every year I would, um, well, as, as long as I was of age to follow the guys, I would follow and learn from them, you know, the different, the different um, instruments, how to play the different instruments. Actually, my first instrument I played was the, um, the garage. Mm. That's how I got involved because um, at one time, uh, the guys were short of a garage player. And although I was very young, still going to secondary school, I was probably in the mid 70s, somewhere 75, 76, yeah, 75. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I following them and, and learning the different um, instruments, I fell in love with the garage. Then they, um, I started with the more forgotten. I did the boom boom. <laughs> I did the, the, the taboo. And um, one year, there was a friend, a cousin of ours who was in England. He's, he's, he's deceased now. Very good friend of mine, um, Sam Durand. Um, Hudson Durand, I think you know him. Mm -hmm. um, he brought one of those accordions down and um, wanted somebody to play. I couldn't play, I didn't know anything about accordions. But um, there was some guy in Atkinson, he remembered, who very long ago he used to play that. So he, he thought um, the guy 
would be able to play. But the guy, uh, apparently, when the guy, when the guy came to, to, to play the instrument, it was kind, he was kind of like foreign to it, and uh, he, I, he forgot everything that he knew then. <laughs> so he, um, he went over to his brother, I think his brother, um, Emmanuel Durand, who is very ill now at the hospital, I'm told. Um, took it up and um, started fiddling with it, and he played a few tunes, and we were playing say we all with him for a few years, um, until I picked it up myself. Maybe in 1985, that's when I started to, to really, you know, fiddle with it and... Take a great interest yeah. in it, yeah. Mm -hmm. First thing mm -hmm. I, I started, uh, I wanted to do was to solve, get it, you know, do the um, do till la mi re do, mm -hmm. and then uh, play some simple tunes after that. And uh, by, 19, by 1990, I was, uh, I was, I was all about the place playing my accordion. <laughs> yeah. You became almost a master. So, yeah. You said we're now playing. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a master because uh, I was looking at um, a professional on YouTube. And uh, I tell you, I have a lot to go. I have a lot to learn. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking to Alex and Laron of Atkinson and uh, we're going to take a short break and come back and really get into what Sevinal music is all about and you know what's involved. So we're going to take a break and come back to continue our conversation. Back in a moment. first edition of Rhythms of the Culture. In this very new television program, we'll be highlighting various expressions and aspects of Dominica's culture. Okay. Um, Tassi, let's start off with you giving us a bit of your background for persons who don't really know you like that well. Uh, where you were born, where you grew up, where you went to school. So, Ophelia, you've performed in just so many places all over. Um, what are some of the performances that stand out in your mind as probably the more memorable? Now, Alden and you traveled with the People's Action Theatre um, through the Caribbean. You mentioned a couple of islands and Caribbean countries that you traveled to. first edition of Rhythms of the Culture. In this very new television program, we'll be highlighting various expressions. And Welcome back to Rhythms of the Culture. We're talking to Alex and Laurent David Kinson. He's the leader of the band Akayo. He's a building contractor by profession. Um, Alex, and now let's, let's get back into the real Sewinav. And for persons who are not familiar, let's say, with the Sewinav, how would you describe it to them and the kind of seminar you're doing at Kinson? Well, the version of seminar we do is really um, serenading, you know, people in the, in the wee hours of the, of the morning, we like to say. <laughs> but we start um, around, around midnight, okay. you know, mm -hmm. of, of the season. Like we start um, maybe uh, 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 a few weeks before Christmas nowadays. Okay. In the older days, they used to start way back, even in November. Guys used to start their saving early. Okay. But nowadays, because of you know, constraints and stuff, we start maybe three weeks before Christmas. And um, it's really, you know, on a, on, on a nightly basis. Well, well, not really nightly nowadays, as I said. But um, we, we go from house to house you know, serenading the, the people in their bed, like you'd be sleeping in your bed and uh, you'd hear this, this wonderful music at your door, you know, and um, Christmas um, music. 
and uh, it's so nice. So people, um, you know, would, 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 would be uh, awakened by that. And if they're interested, they, they open their door, you go in, you play some music. If they are not interested, sometimes they just give you a little token and you go about to the next, to the next house. <laughs> but the idea is to um, play, you know, so the, the um, Christmas songs. Sometimes we start with an introduction song, not something. We always start with an introduction song at the door. You have to go very quietly eh? okay. to the door. You must not make a sound. And we set up at the door. The door is shut, locked. We start off your song. Uh, it has to be an introduction song that would kind of identify who you are, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And um, after that song, then somebody would give a speech, a speech to, um, to the, the, the inmates, the, 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 the yeah. occupants mm -hmm. of the house, and um, wishing them all the best for Christmas and what have you, what have you. And you know, if you let us in, we can give you some nice little Christmas music until they break or whatever. <laughs> you know, and so when they, when they do open the door now, you go in, you sing an appropriate song like, you know, we wish you a Merry Christmas, you know, um, mm -hmm. something that would kind of chauffeur the house, we would like to say, <laughs> chauffeur yes. Kyla, you know, to warm up the place. And um, after a few songs, then, uh, you would, drink, would again sing an appropriate song for the, for the beverage to come out, you know, like mm -hmm. the, the uh, whatever, whatever juices uh -huh. and hard, hard spirits, drinks. hard uh -huh. drinks that would come yeah. out, and some eats and stuff. And we'd still have a little session where you, know, you give um, jokes, you know, okay. you know just, <laughs> just to uh, hype up the humor a bit at the house. Um, you know, that just give people a, a, a sense of Love and, and, and spirit of Christmas, and yeah. Love and peace and music, peace and, joyful yeah. music, mm -hmm. yes. And of course, then you take that now to another. So in other words, so, you go from house so to house. So normally, um, we, would get, we, would, we, we would time ourselves, and depending on what time you start and the number of houses you want to go. So you would say, okay, 10 minutes per house, 15 minutes per house, whatever. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So you find, uh, you know, you cover a number of houses, you reach out to a number of, number of houses. Yeah. houses. So you have to do whatever you're doing in that house. In 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you decide at the time, you give in per house. You know? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. and, and it's that, almost every night that this is happening? Or it's well, more, in the older days. In Nowadays, the older days. No, not uh, every, every week now. Every know? week, yeah. yes. Like, uh -huh. Every weekend, you know, maybe you do a, a thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, in addition to Atkinson, are there, are there other communities that you'll visit? I'm sure there might be. I, I heard of Layu. Um, I'm not sure if they have the same thing in Petit Savan, but I know okay. they have a group down there. Yeah. I don't know. And then, but your, your group visits Maho, I know, too, as well. Every year. Yeah, okay. Religiously, mm -hmm. every year we have, a, we have um, some people down here who, in Maho who request that. Every year they get their, their, their seminar from Banakai. <laughs> so we arrange a date uh, that would suit everybody, mm -hmm. and we come down. Yeah. We used to be coming to one or two houses, but nowadays we have a few people. We used to come like 12 o'clock in the night, now we have to come at 8 because um, more people want more to people stay. want you all to come. Yeah. Yeah, yes. In fact, I want you at some point to play a bit of uh, your accordion for us on the program so mm -hmm. folks get a taste of the Serenal music. Um, but the, there's a Serenal festival now that has, this thing has grown so much in that kids yeah. um, that has started, it started like a couple of years ago. Of course, I'm five, sure you're, like, you're like the main feature because you all have the traditional Serenal music. But how has that festival been going? Um, uh, it has been growing, I must say. Um, although we had a bad year last year because of Erica, 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 oh, yo, yo, you know. <laughs> yeah. Erica dealt us a bad blow, and um, so we had to scale it down a bit. We had it, you know, but it was scaled down um, because of sponsorship at the time wasn't forthcoming. Mm -hmm. 
but this year it was it, it was it was back up and um, hope to have it even bigger and better next year. Yes, yeah, because mm -hmm. apart, apart from you, I, there were bands like Swinging Stars, there was Swing. WCK. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Swinging Stars had, um, had, a, had a nice show in, I think they played for something like three or four hours. Yeah. And then CK took it up to daybreak. Mm -hmm. so it was good, and the weather was fantastic. Beautiful, mm -hmm. yes. So well, let me congratulate you, the community of Atkinson, on yet another successful Saving Elf Festival held there. And uh, we're talking to Alexon Laron. He's the leader of the band Akayo of Atkinson. Um, we want him to play his accordion for us. We're going to take a short break and come back, and then Ad Ad Alexon will play for us on his accordion. Back in a moment. first edition of Rhythms of the Culture. In this very new television program, we'll be highlighting various expressions and aspects of Dominica's culture. Okay. Um, Tassi, let's start off with you giving us a bit of your background for persons who don't really know you like that well. Uh, where you were born, where you grew up, where you went to school. So, Ophelia, you've performed in just so many places all over. Um, what are some of the performances that stand out in your mind as probably the more memorable? Now, Alwyn, you traveled with the People's Action Theatre um, through the Caribbean. You mentioned a couple of islands and Caribbean countries that you traveled to. So we're back with Rhythms of the Culture, and of course we're talking to Alexon Laron. He's the leader of the Banakayo Jingping Band of Atkinson, and of course he's the lead musician <laughs> with the band, playing the accordion. He's all set up. So um, Alexon, give us a taste of that say with our music. <laughs> <laughs> Alleliolo wive, alleliolo wive, warakano satino kaibayo shik bam bam. And then sometimes we're going to the car. Song for the drinks. Send out the bottles so we can have a drink. Send out the bottles so we can have a drink. <laughs> yes, and of course, um, this is not the full complement of the Sevenal because you have, the, apart from the accordion, as you, you mentioned earlier, there's the, the tambo, the tambo, and you have the boom, the boom, the guage. The guage. Yeah, sometimes um, you have a, a, what do you call a mama cushion or tuk tuk. Yes, you have additional instruments. Yeah, like a percussion instrument. Making up a full. So the, mm. the band is a sort of maybe like what, six, seven people? Uh, uh, can uh, we, we can play with four. Oh, but you can play with four. Yes. Everything else is additional. Okay. Like the banjo uh -huh. or the guitar or the, um, as I said, the little percussion instruments. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm sure the folks, um, if there are folks watching you from Atkinson at this point in time, um, I probably enjoying <laughs> the kind of music, and of course, you know, Dominicans enjoying the Sewinar music that you continue to uh, preserve and promote in, in Dominica. So um, let me just thank you, Alexon, yes, for thank joining. Thank you, Raymond. Um, I would also wish to to tell every Dominican, especially those in my community, my beloved community at Kingston. So have a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And let's hope for bigger and better things next yeah, year. That's right, yes. And keep up the good music, the good work, <laughs> both in your right. professional work, uh, you know, building, contractor, and so on. Mm -hmm. And as, of course, somebody very involved in Dominica's culture, keep up, keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you. So uh, thank you very much, Alex and Laron. This has been a special Christmas edition of Rhythms of the Culture. Our guest was uh, Alex and Laron. He's also known as Aka of Atkinson. Uh, we thank him for being with us. We thank the band Akayo for the work that they're doing in Atkinson. And we thank you for joining us uh, and what, for watching this program. Thank you very much. Do have a wonderful Christmas season, a blessed Christmas season, and a prosperous and very productive new year. I'm Raymond Lawrence saying bye for now. <laughs>